Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, this morning I'm feeling a little bit frazzled because of what just happened, and I thought I'd vlog about it straight away because it's just, oh god. So, um, I was just getting dressed ready for the morning, and I got a phone call from an O2O number. I normally never pick these things up, I never normally pick up a number I don't know because it's always just a load of crap. Um, and it was a message saying, like one of the automated ones saying, there's a warrant out for your arrest for tax evasion, um, either choose option ignore and be uh, given a warrant for your arrest or go through to an agent. And I was just panicking, I was like, what the fuck have I done, have I screwed up my taxes? What What is going on? Like, I, I'm still shaking a little bit now from it, it proper put me out. But, so they, um, I, I went through to the agent thing, because so like, I don't wanna get arrested, I'm about to move house. I'm talk, I'll talk about that later in the video, but th we've got a lot going on at the minute, and I was like, oh my God. Um, so yeah, they, I went through to an agent, and it was an Indian guy, so that should have given me a warning right away that something was a bit off, because HMRC is based in Swansea, Wales, so they're all gonna be British people, right? They're gonna be, well, most likely, um, but basically the guy asked for my name, he said that I'd um, been pulled up for tax evasion by HMRC and owed them £1,700 today. Um, I couldn't hang up the phone or they would pass my details onto the police for my arrest. Um, if I chose to go to court and it didn't work uh, or I lost the case, I'd owe £80,000. Um, so I was like, I was freaking out. So I was like, shit, I, the, I, it was still early in the morning. I didn't know what to, my brain wasn't working properly. I was like, I don't have 1700 pounds. What the fuck am I gonna do? So I kept talking to him. I was like, I don't have that kind of money. How can I pay for that? I wasn't really thinking about actually asking about their details, how they knew I owed that. I should have asked about some information about my HMRC account, or I should have just logged into my HMRC tax thing and seen my thing because if you owe anything it always shows up on your online website or if you owe money they often send you letters first loads of letters first um, and they increase the fines up and up they never actually call you with this sort of thing saying you're going to be arrested nobody really gets arrested for tax evasion especially someone small scale like me but i was just really panicking and i was like fuck so i, I went to amy and i was like i need to put some the money in my account to pay these people or the police are going to be on me and she thought about it for a second, she was like, I explained to her what I'd said, or the guy had said to me, and she was like, definitely a scam. And I was just like, oh my, thank God. So I literally went, to, I answered the phone and said, you almost got me, cunt, fuck off. And then I put the phone down. It just, God, but, and I'm not exactly a dumb person, but they just caught me at a bad time. And I, if I hadn't had her there, I probably would have transferred some money across and paid these assholes without really thinking twice about it because they scared me. Um, so yeah, uh, the, n the number they called me on was an 0201, um, but basically if you get a message like this, ignore it, hang it up, um, you're not gonna get arrested for tax evasion. I, might, I was just panicked, basically, so just a little warning there. <sighs> but other than that, um, the start of 2021 is going really well, so let's do a rundown. I have lost uh, six and a half kilos um, in the last 15 days. So really good start to the month. I've been doing very strict dieting. Um, I've been training, uh, so there'll be some more workout home videos. My training's gotten better, uh, more varied. I've been incorporating resistance bands a lot more into stuff. And I am gaining again. Uh, the reason being, how can I be gaining while dropping so much weight? Uh, simply because I hopped back on the trend. Um, I've, the only reason I've done this is my diet is really strict now. I got really sloppy over November and December once they reshut the gyms and everything. I was just like, it ruined my bulk, it ruined my mentality, everything just went downhill. But um, I've got the new year bug now and I'm down that six kilos. Um, my shoulders are coming back in, my arms are gaining some size. Legs is a tricky one. I'm trying to experiment with different ways to try and uh, you know, get them to grow. I uh, can at least maintain them, but trying to add mass without a lot of weight is tough. So yeah, cycle-wise, it's literally really simple. 200 mi milligrams of Tren E, 200 mil no, 250 milligrams of Test Emth. That's just because it's one mil of each, it's just easier. And that's having a great effect on me. I'm not really being that hungry. I've been eating approximately 1,000 to 1,500 calories a day. Because it's lockdown, the only real exercise I'm doing is my home workout. It's January, it's fucking freezing and raining outside. I'm not doing much walking. 
basically no cardio or steps compared to what I would usually do. So that's why my calories are so low. And also I wanna show you just how much weight or how much of a physical change you can make in one month. Um, so at the end of this month, I'm gonna do the transformation uh, clips and I think you'd be quite surprised because I'm aiming to, I'm down six and a half kilos already. I'm pretty confident I can lose another five kilos by the end of the month, which is near a 25 pound loss of fat in, or weight in one month. Um, and I, I'm also gaining muscle mass at the same time, small amounts of it, or at least it feels like I am because I'm just getting that definition and the, uh, the symmetry is coming back in. So physique wise, definitely back on track. I don't even care if there's no contest this year. I'm just gonna get myself into that shape and stick there. Last March, April time, I was in the best shape I'd ever been. And then the lockdowns kicked in and I just, my mentality just went, I, I gave up. But this year, I'm used to lockdowns, everyone's used to lockdowns, we're just dealing with it, and I'm controlling what I can control, which is my diet, a little bit of home exercise with the kit, um, focusing on my clients and helping them get the best out of their home workouts and losing weight, because a lot of them were the same as me. They were in their mentality of, what's the point without a gym? I'm really pissed off. I feel like I can't make any progress without. But actually, um, with all of these clients, what I've done is I've simply put them on a cut diet, um, leaning them down to as lean as possible, doing hit cardio stuff inside, improving their cardiovascular fitness, overdoing weights, or using the minimum amount of weights they've got to get nice pump workouts. And then as soon as gym is open, boom, reverse diet out, increase how much weight you're lifting suddenly. And when you're really lean and then you start adding in the calories, your body just gains lean mass, especially if you're running a cycle. So if you've got no kit at home, you feel depressed, you can't be asked to train, you're getting fatter and fatter, um, just go down that route, control your food, control what you can control, get down lean, don't worry about losing muscle mass because muscle memory, as soon as you get back into the gym, start lifting heavy, eating more, it will come back like that. So that's my mentality um, and it's working really well so far so I can't wait to show you how I look at the end of this month. Other things that have been going on, uh, last week we viewed a house. We've been viewing a few different houses over the past couple of months because living in a flat in lockdown for nine months has sucked ass. Uh, no garden, limited space, and after a while it starts to feel like a fucking prison cell. A luxury prison cell, but all the same a prison cell, especially when it's winter. You can't go outside, it's just nothing, there's nothing to do outside either um, because of this bullshit. So we found a really nice two bed house uh, in a better location than we are now for only slightly more rent than we're paying, like a hundred pound more rent. We get a two bed house over a one bed flat. So it's gonna be amazing, I'll get an, we're, I'm gonna have an office. Um, it's gonna make it much easier for me to make videos and content for you guys. Um, in an office, I'm just much more focused and I get more stuff done. So yeah, that's really positive thing. So 25th February, I think, is our move date around then. Um, could be earlier if some people move into this flat earlier. But I'm really excited about that, moving up in the world. You know, the business has grown even through lockdown to a point where we can confidently move up to a nicer, bigger place, have a little garden, you know, and start doing adult stuff like having house parties and garden parties, well, yard part, barbecues, whatever. So all in all, um, January, it's going pretty well other than that weird scare I just had a minute ago. So yeah, I just thought I'd do a quick update and tell that little story and just show what's going on with me. Um, there'll be lots more training videos. As soon as gyms open, there'll be tons more stuff I can do. Um, but for now, lots of home workouts. I've got a ton of different drugs I've tried that I'm gonna do videos on like Monadophil, Armonadophil, T5s, MK677. I've tried out loads of stuff in the last year while in lockdown to experiment with stuff that I could potentially get my clients to use, uh, especially natural ones who don't want to go down the steroid route. But so yeah, I'm going to cover all these sorts of cool different supplements and uh, products that do different things uh, in the next couple of weeks because I know you guys love those videos. But yeah, thanks for watching. Stay strong, don't get conned, and you know, keep trying to stay healthy if you can and try and you know maintain a positive attitude um, and hopefully I can help you give a bit of that because I've been really down myself lately and now I'm really feeling up again. I just want to spread that to everyone and you know try and give a little bit of hope. Um, so thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.